What's going on YouTube? Today I'm going to be showing you uh, what parts are needed to convert your one piece early model 4L60E transmission over to work with your current LS swap. Um, if you haven't done so yet, please hit the subscribe button. I really appreciate it. Uh, let's get to it. First things first, you're going to need a T40 Torx bit to remove your shift cable bracket. Next, you're going to want to remove the two 10 millimeter bolts for the shield on the side of the transmission. Once you've got those removed, there's 16 half inch transmission pan bolts. You can go ahead and remove those. All right, and now that we got everything opened up, you can go ahead and pop off your transmission filter. And now you should be able to see everything. Um, you're going to need this internal transmission harness and the pulse width module solenoid. Um, the difference between the two transmissions is the newer 4L60E transmission, uh, the LS swap will look for the pulse width module solenoid. What it does is it locks up the torque converter uh, by pulsating slowly and slowly increasing the lockup on the torque converter. Um, the older one piece 4L60E transmissions is more of a kind of like a on off switch and uh it doesn't have that solenoid inside of it but it has a location for it so you need to switch over the harness and that solenoid and it will trick your ls swap into thinking that everything is the way that it should be and the transmission will lock up the way that, or the torque converter will lock up the way that it's supposed to now that i've got the harness pretty much all unplugged um you have to remove these two snap rings here with a, a flathead or a scribe or something um and this here is your pulse width module solenoid this here is your two three downshift solenoid there's been reports of if you don't change this solenoid over um that it, it can cause harsh uh second to, or third to second downshifting um, so I'm going to go ahead and pop these out and oh, that there, and this here, and then we'll go over to the other side of the transmission. To get this connector out, you'll need to squeeze these tabs here. I'm going to need more than one hand to do it, but... You get the point, squeeze these tabs here, and it'll pop through. All right, and that's pretty much it. Um, this is what you need out of a newer transmission to get your one-piece 4L60E trans to work with your LS swap computer. Now I'm going to go over to the truck and install this, um, and uh, I'll keep you guys posted on how it goes.